Welcome to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea, and in my household, there's me, my husband, and our handsome little boy. On our channel, I make simple meals using convenient pantry and freezer staples. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this pasta from Trader Joe's. I had it in my freezer. We've had it before and it is really good. I think it's pronounced fiocchetti. It's a quick little skillet meal. Um, and it has, the pasta is stuffed with cheese. We are also having some garlic bread. I made my own, didn't have any garlic bread in the freezer. So I just used some leftover hamburger buns and then I put this butter on top of it and toasted it in the air fryer. It's a seasoned butter that I got from Aldi. I had it in my freezer. It has garlic and Parmesan in it. And then here is what the pasta looks like on our plates and then having a side of salad. So I have some crushed up croutons and some crushed up Parmesan crisp. I love croutons in my salad. I don't like eating them whole, so that's why I always crush them up. And the same with the Parmesan crisp. I just crush them up with a um, meat mallet. And then for the dressings, I'm going to have this one. Um, I got it from Walmart on clearance, Romano cheese, lemon, and garlic. And then Howard will have this Tony Sasseri's ranch salad dressing. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I'm making baked chicken and a healthier version of my fried cabbage. Um, on our channel, I have a recipe for southern fried cabbage with bacon tonight. Um, like I said, I'm making it a little bit healthier. So I've got some olive oil in my skillet, and to my olive oil, I added this bag of three pepper and onion blend. It's frozen, got it from Kroger, but any store should have it under the name brand or the store brand. And what I'm doing, because there is so much, um, there's so much water and ice in frozen veggies, I'm just cooking it down a little bit and letting these vegetables soften up. And now that my veggies have softened up, I have shredded a small head of cabbage and I'm just adding that to the skillet and I'm gonna let it cook down. Okay, so now that my cabbage has started to cook down a little bit, you're gonna, you're gonna want to add your seasonings. I'm trying this one, I've never tried it before. I found it at Walmart. It's a salad and vegetable seasoning, so you can use it on salads or vegetables. So it comes with eight little packets. So I've got one ready to go here and I'm just gonna sprinkle it right on top. I don't know if I'm gonna need additional seasoning or another packet of seasoning, I'm not sure. But I'm just gonna sprinkle this on, stir it up and let it cook down a little bit more and taste it and see if I need some more. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. And I did have to add some extra seasoning to my cabbage, so I added some seasoned salt. And then once the cabbage was halfway through, I remembered that I had some fresh kale in my fridge that I needed to use, so I added that in as well. Here is the baked chicken, and I seasoned it with this um, Kinder's Buttery Poultry Blend and this um, freeze-dried herb poultry poultry blend as well, excuse me. And then we're having some mashed potatoes on the side. Normally I make homemade mashed potatoes, but these were on sale um, this past week at my grocery store, and I just wanted to give them a try. Garlic mashed potatoes, they are pretty good, but I think I prefer the Bob Evans uh, mashed potatoes to the Simply Potatoes. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Asian at home in my freezer. I had this chicken fried rice from Trader Joe's, which we really like a lot. It is one of my favorite frozen rice um, dinners. The only thing I don't care for is that it does have a lot of peas, which I'm not a big fan of. So I always take them out before I cook uh, the rice. And I always make mine in the skillet and I cook it for a little bit longer then the directions call for until it gets this nice golden brown, just like a restaurant. And then we are also having some chicken mandu or chicken dumplings. 
Um, I really love these dumplings from Aldi. They're seasonal and they have them in the stores during Asian week and so I always grab a couple. I think, but I can't prove it, that the brand behind these dumplings is Bibigo because I've had their brand of chicken dumplings and they taste pretty similar. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, it is Mother's Day weekend. It's actually the Saturday before Mother's Day and we are celebrating all weekend. We are trying out a new restaurant. Um, it's called Coco Shrimp and it's kind of like has a Hawaiian theme. So this is Harrison's plate. He got a kid's plate and all of the meals come in these little like to go type boxes. But this is his, he got coconut shrimp and some poppy seed dressing and that's garlic butter rice on the bottom. This is my plate. Howard and I both got samplers. So um, I got a lemon and herb shrimp right there the sweet and spicy shrimp and then um i think a, and then a garlic butter shrimp i think i can't remember comes on a bit of that garlic butter rice and then um lettuce a little salad on the side and then i got cilantro lime dressing and then this is howard's he got a sampler platter as well what was your shrimp again the garlic butter garlic the butter sweet and spicy, sweet and, spicy, and, the spicy. and the spicy and then for his dressing, he got a ginger dressing. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so today is Mother's Day and Howard took me to Papacito's. This is Howard's plate and he got a giant chicken burrito with rice and beans. And then these are the sides to my combo platter. I got rice and beans, of course. And then my combo platter is um, brochette style shrimp and ribs and both of them were delicious the shrimp was stuffed with peppers and cheese i hope everyone had a wonderful mother's day